either on the chair or like on the table or on the floor but he was like always chilling in this vicinity here because it's nice and cozy isn't it but i have this neck warmer massager on i got it from neckology and it comes with a remote it has different modes and anytime i like sleep weird on my neck and i have neck pain that translates into like neck tension neck pain and it translates into a massive headache for me when I wake up this definitely helps big time because it kind of helps I'm gonna try the gua sha that I ordered yesterday and do like a little gua sha sesh see if that helps hi Vienna yeah. I'm vlogging the vlogger we got I found my old camera I'm talking like old camera it's like a Canon the Panasonic or I don't even know what it's called and I gave it to her and she's just been literally like we had pizzas last night late last night my husband made little pizzas and she's like hold on I have to grab my camera to take a picture. She's like taking pictures of everything, recording, like we're driving out the window. She's like taking pictures of Christmas lights. Wait, mama, wait. What? Stop, look. It's almost like the same camera. It's almost like And Dadushka is almost like Dadushka has the exact same camera. I'm going to read the morning brew here right now. It is, I think it's like 8 in the morning now. Yeah, it's, it's dang, it's almost 9. Jeez, that went by quick. I feel like I just woke up. It's basically like keeps you up to date with mostly like business aspect stuff like it will start off with um, the market how the market's doing and then uh, just things not so much like news around the world but mostly business stuff but so I like to I don't read it every day but I like to read it maybe five times a day I'm just gonna sit here read that and Mama. enjoy our slow morning Mama. what I figured I'd curl a crimp my hair today since I don't feel like washing it just yet. It's not like that greasy. The underneath is starting to get greasy. I think this is day two or three. Usually this is when I'll wear my hair in like a ponytail or something. But I figured let me crimp it to give it some fullness, some texture. And I feel like this crimper is so great for that if you have fine thin hair. I've done this in a video before. Just kind of like go through and crimp the hair. This one's nice because it has different settings. You could do like a tighter, a tighter wave or you can do more of a deeper wave with this one. This hair waver in particular. It moves. So you could do, this is the smallest wave or you can go all the way up and do like a really deep wave. Sat down to put on some mascara and I ended up with full face. I don't know, I really enjoy like kind of like doing my makeup. Not all days. Some days I'm just like, whatever, I don't want to have any makeup on. Other than lashes or mascara or brows or something. But today, it's like a very natural, I'm more of a natural full face of makeup kind of person because I do have concealer, foundation, bronzer, a little bit of blush, brows, lips, everything. But I f love the more natural everyday makeup look versus like really intense full coverage i don't know that's just my vibe and then i did like a little bit of a soft wing with eyeshadow definitely my go-to did a little bit of eyeshadow and yeah that's that i'm just loving how it all came together so thought i would share on my vlog kind of regret not filming it and the lips are actually full-blown lip pencil this is a nyx lip pencil in color sandstorm i outlined it and then add a little bit of highlighter at the top just to give it some pop but now um i feel like today is going by so fast it's already one o'clock and I feel like I haven't even done anything. Made myself an Americano. Of course, if you know me, coffee first. Coffee first for the third time today. Actually, no, this is my second cup. I had a espresso, a matcha, and then this. But I forgot that I wanted to put together their gift. So I have my box cutter screwdriver thing. And while the kids are playing outside, since it's so nice out, yeah, it's in the house. But I figured how to put together their gift so that it's ready before Christmas and then hide it. That way, that way, if anything is wrong with it or something's broken, um, I'm not dealing with that Christmas Eve. So I figured I'd rather just put it together ahead of time. Some people said it could take some time. It's not as big as a house. I think it's about yay big. 
So it should take quite a bit of time. I'm just gonna turn on some Christmas music and try to put it together. taking a little break but I will say that this house is definitely cheaply built because this is kind of like almost like a sticker and you can see like right here it's already a little bit lifted right here you can see there's like some wear and tear but I mean I'm glad I got it on sale I think it should still be on sale for like $55 or something like that I would never pay close to 100 bucks for this because I feel like it's definitely not worth it it's literally like just stickers plastered on I don't even know, MDF board, whatever this is, with some pieces of wood holding sides together. My kids are gonna love playing with it, so I'm just gonna finish. I feel like if I keep doing a time lapse, it's gonna take forever. So here's what we have currently right now, and I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done. Whew, okay, I feel like the hard part is over. I'm sure I got basically all the screws in. This, These screws are blunt, so they're not pointy, so trying to screw them into wood like this they do have little small holes pre, kind of like already wherever you need to put the screws in, but still it's just, I feel like I'm gonna have blisters on my arms. So look at, look at my arm from trying to use <laughs> the screwdriver. This is um, basically the core of it. The rest is just putting together all of these attachments and such. I feel like I'm missing a screw. Oh, I have to put one right here and right there. That's where the last two go. So I'm gonna do that and I think I'll film, I guess I'll film this last part of me basically putting together all of the little fun pieces. This is the end result. I don't know why it's like, this is a Canon. I'm filming on my Canon. The Canon quality is not as great as the Sony, especially when it's dark or getting dark, but this is the finished result. Not the best, best quality, I will say, but overall, for 55 bucks, I feel like my girls are definitely gonna love it. The fun part is trying to wrap it up. I think what I'm gonna do is put everything, all the little knickknacks and stuff, or just put it in here. Hide everything in here. And then use this box to kind of, I'm gonna set the stable in the box and use the base and the top and then kind of like wrap the sides. Be worse it honestly could be worse but that's okay this is as good as it's gonna get from my end as long as they don't like press on it and the cat doesn't mess with it I feel like I did a pretty good job you know maybe like a 7 out of 10 not too bad I'm just gonna probably leave it here for now because I don't want them messing with it and then move it later I don't know we'll see we got back from picking up a Vienna um, from choir we went out with the girls there's like a local cafe that used to serve russian desserts but they switched their menu to like italian fare and we have so many places here here in this area is like known for really good italian food so one of the things that one of the things that are kind of local to this area are greens i don't know if anybody has ever tried them it's honestly so good i have some leftovers here for the zim and then I got this in the mail today. I'll talk about this in tomorrow's video. I'm really excited. It's like a luxe, luxury-ish, minimalist beauty line, Merit. They are sold at Sephora, but right now, if you, any purchase that you make on the Merit Beauty website, you get this gorgeous black velvet. Here, let me set my camera down. For the holidays, they did a black velvet one. And this is in collaboration with Merit Beauty. 
but I was just so excited to collab with them. I think they have some beautiful products. They're very big on like less is more, all that good stuff, but this is their brand logo, Merit. Like I said, their uh, minimalist beauty line. And this is that beautiful black tote right here that you're gonna get if you buy literally anything, I believe, from the Merit Beauty website. And you kind of just like tie it over. You can do it twice. It's like this cute little pouch. You can do travel, you can wear it like this. This gorgeous little black velvet pouch. I'm so excited to share about these items tomorrow. A bunch of goodies I chose. And they're very big on like sustainability, recycling, like all that good stuff, like I said. So I'll talk more about them tomorrow's vlog, but I'm gonna finish this vlog here. Just wanted to kind of like close it out. I know I didn't, not much happened, but this is why I love Vlogmas. I feel like you get to hang out with someone every single day during Vlogmas. So probably gonna make myself a matcha, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know what it is about. I'll probably do ice matcha. I, I love it so much. My other one came in today and I do keep these refrigerated. You guys have to try this matcha. The Encha Matcha, I keep it refrigerated here. And I just love it. A little bit of honey, some milk. So good. So I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me today, even though not much happened. I did accomplish putting together their gift and wrapped it. So that's a huge plus. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow.